Hey guys, Todd Huey here with Lone Star Bores, and today we're going to be testing out the Gemtech G5T Titanium Quick Release 556 Suppressor and the Gemtech Suppressed Bolt Carrier. This bolt carrier, what it does is it has an adjustment on here for suppressed or unsuppressed. If you have a rifle like this Colt LE 6920 that does not have an adjustable gas block, you can actually put it in suppressed mode in the bolt. Now what it does is the extra gas is siphoned out the side here. I don't know if that's going to be a factor for me. Most people being a right-handed shooter, it's not going to matter. For me, this gas is all going to come back, may be out in my face. I don't know. We're fixing to find out. But as a, as a left-handed shooter, um, it's going to be interesting. So we're going to take a couple shots here. Got my berm over here. All right, to change this, of course you clear the weapon. And all you do, pull your bolt out. And there is a little switch that we'll show you up closer that you just turn. Now it has a a slot in it for a flathead screwdriver or the end of a of a rifle uh, a bullet case or whatever so far I'm able to turn it with just my hand it's it's not very hard I don't know you know as it gets used more maybe maybe it will stiffen up some but right now I'm able to do it that quick just with my hand so now we're in unsuppressed mode Helps to load it. Now the weird thing is, like I said, I'm left-handed, so I have the everything. I'm getting more gas in my face when it's on unsuppressed mode. And to me, it has a different tone. I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up on the on the the cameras or not. I have three different mics going, so maybe we can get a a better reading here. But let me. Switch it back again. Okay, that was unsuppressed. Like I said, I got a lot more gas in my face that way. Now we're back to suppressed. Yeah, um, of course that's just three shots each. I'm gonna fire some more here, but I could tell a noticeable difference in the um, gas blowing back in my face. Now I do have the um, RVT mod on this rifle where I've used um, RVT back here on the charging handle to keep uh, gas from blowing back this way. So most everything is coming out of the ejection port. And I really thought with this thing being turned to suppress mode since it is purposely forcing gas out that side that I'd get more stuff but I'm noticing more debris and it may be just all the junk coming back from the gas being forced back in here instead of being vented out the side so maybe it's cleaner gas I don't know but um, that was very interesting so more debris in my face on unsuppressed mode all right just this is the LWRC IC enhanced or M6 IC enhanced it's 556 it is unsuppressed right now. Now it is a piston rifle and this is uh, a direct impingement. But what I'm gonna do is, they're both 16 inch barrels. I'm gonna fire one suppressed, one unsuppressed. Like I said, I got three microphones going here. So hopefully you'll be able to tell a difference. I'm gonna get a little bit back so they don't overload the mics and just shoot from right here. And I'm gonna do one unsuppressed and then one suppressed. See if we can tell a difference on the mics, like I said. It's easy, it, there's a huge difference in real life. I don't know what it's gonna be like on the mic, so. Unsuppressed, suppressed, huge difference. Unsuppressed, suppressed, oh yeah. You 
Huge difference to my ears. I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, this sounds like a 22 going off. Of course, this sounds like a high-powered rifle. So, um, hopefully, it comes out right, good guys. on the video. This Gym Tech can is supposed to be coated with a, a paint that that helps it uh, not have such a heat signature, and that's more for, I guess, tactical and combat situations. But I have a thermal camera going back there. We're going to test it and see how it does. Now, all I have is the 6.8 with the uh, Gym Tech HVT stainless steel can, but hopefully we'll, we'll see if there, it makes a difference or not in the thermal. So here we go. I'm gonna dual wield here and shoot four shots with each rifle. Okay, here in the thermal, the can farthest from us is the Gemtech HVT stainless, and then the one closest is the G5T. As you can see here, it took a noticeably longer time for it to heat up, so that thermal coating does make a difference. Here's one thing to note on the uh, Gemtech suppressed bolt carrier group, or bolt carrier. When you fire it without a suppressor and on suppressed, it's not cycling. Nope, not cycling. Let's see. Switch it to unsuppressed. See what happens. Works fine. So just remember, suppressed will not have enough gas to work the, the bolt if you don't have a can on there.